In this video, we're going to take a look at the different settings that are associated with levels and grids. Specifically, we're going to look at how to adjust the appearance of grids, the difference between the 2D and the 3D extent options, and also how we can adjust the location of the grid bubble and apply it to a bunch of different views across the project. First thing we're going to do is take a look at what makes up the grid bubble. So when I select the grid, you can see that there's a type called quarter inch bubble. If I go to edit type, the bubble is determined based on an annotation family that has been applied to the symbol. Typically, you're going to use one grid head circle is very standard here. We can also adjust the line weight of the segments. We can change the color and then also the pattern based on uh, the needs of our project. There's a few defaults that you can set as well. You can change whether it's the first end or the second end. Typically, it's going to be end two, meaning when you place a grid, the first click you make is going to be end one. The second would be end two, which will have the bubble. In non plan view symbols like sections or elevations, the default is always going to be to have the grids on the top. If we were to take a look at an elevation view and turn the grids on, this one has a view template, so we'll turn it on through there. You can see that the grids are going to run vertically through the view. And when I select one, there's this option for a 2D or a 3D extent. So we're going to look at grids 6 and 7 specifically here. What I'll do is on grid 7, I'll change the extent from 3D to 2D and then I'm going to drag it so that it's sitting above the view. I'm going to do the same thing for grid line 6, but instead I want to make sure that this one is set to its 3D extent. And if I move that all the way above, you can see the dot here, which is going to represent the 3D extent of the view, where the 2D is going to stay down below. What I've done is I've now moved it outside of the view of the ground level. Going back to the ground level view, you can see that grid 7 is still showing on the floor plan, but grid 6 has been removed. If I go back to that elevation view and drag that 3D extent back down, regardless of where that 2D extent is, back in the ground floor view, grid line six is now appearing. That 3D extent has an impact across multiple views within the project. So when you're adjusting your grids, you need to make sure that you're not moving them outside of the, the extents of other views. Levels work in a very similar way. 